Hi everybody, this is a quick reminder about the main functionality of musictheory.net that, that is particularly useful to teachers um, if you want to customize the type of quizzing you give your students. There's some great apps they have, you can look into them, but the main place you want to go for customizing quizzes is to go under Exercises, and then scroll down to where it says Exercise Customer. Then you would choose um, the type of quiz you want to construct from these headings and there's more you can scroll down to see more and then you can customize the quiz so say um, you're doing intervals you could choose this choose how many clefs what kind of clefs you want to use the range of notes how many key signatures are involved um, whether or not you're requiring quality how many types of intervals you can choose to make it very simple, only one or two types of intervals or every single type of interval. You can choose whether to have compound intervals or not. And level difficulty has to do with or how many extra accidentals are added to the problems. So if you don't want any extra accidentals, um, you would choose that one. And then they get progressively more involved after that. And when does the next question happen it can be set. And then challenge mode is whether or not there's a timer on it. And this is the most useful aspect of it because you can, you can set a standard. You can say in three minutes you should be able to do 15 intervals or whatever you uh, de determine is the, the level you want the student to get to. Uh, you should not choose multiple attempts if you want to test them right or wrong. You should leave that off. And then um, when you're ready, you've got it just the way you want it you can copy this URL that's generated down at the bottom of the page and paste it into your OL page and give it some kind of setting. So here's an example of one that I set up that's actually an assignment. I set up the assignment button. Um, I clicked on it. I had a description of what I want them to do. I actually made a little tutorial video to remind them of the process. This particular quiz is testing um, recognition of seventh chords, including seventh chord inversions. Um, I gave them an untimed quiz as a link so they could just practice. And then I said once they're, uh, they're, they're feeling comfortable with that, then they're going to take the timed quiz and they need to get 100%. And once they achieve 100%, they take a screenshot and they upload it here for homework credit. So there's an example of how you can actually use these to, to make an assignment that could be graded. Okay, let me know if you have any more questions.